Hi, we are back with an update on the uh, the shanty sea board. Okay, so to take up from where we left off, I've done a few things, including um, you know after flocking, going in with paint. I went in with a load of grey cheap uh, pound shop primer spray, auto car paint, um, and. And you can see it kind of like on this edge here, um, some of the leftovers of it. And then I kind of layered in from quite high up above. It's a windy day, so it's, you know, uh, a lot of it blows off with some Zandri dust as well to, like, get like a two-tone mixed um, layer. And then it gives way to, like, a darker green here as it goes up. And then I just li really have no green left to do that bit there. But uh, that's a Dark Angel green spray here. I can still see some of the sand quality of the colour underneath, but um, what I've got is that you know this multi-tone kind of board going on at the moment, and I still have the option to come in and you know mass dry brush this with a big with a big brush to try and highlight a lot of this up. Um, also, before painting, I went in and obviously a lot of this has been obscured by paint at the moment, but it should be brought back up. Um, little details like the, the skull here and um, these two skulls and this jaw bone bit here um, these two little like grommet things whatever they are little rubber things that are, I'm, I'm just having act as tires and I've got some um, bits of uh, milliput that I, I, I stuck in beforehand um, to make like kind of rock kind of formation things um, try to get all the fingerprints basically out of it uh, just so that anything you know can be like a tone quality difference um, uh, bits of rock sticking up out of uh, the water and that we have this drill here this has been sprayed as well so um, and I would paint this so it's really really rusty and this is just a this is just a um, some sort of extra part from a DIY shop from a packet of something hell I don't even remember what it is but you know DIY shop find this thing and I thought yeah you know like a rusty metal thing that's just randomly there and then basically I can take a lot of my um, Goblin Town bits and sort of layer them out here mix it with my MSV iron sides that I got from TT Combat you know the big boat thing heck that boat's probably gonna take up a hell of a lot of this board anyway to be honest um, it's that big I didn't think it was gonna be as big as that but um, <laughs> yeah uh, that's gonna be a feature in of itself so we're gonna use up a lot of this board actually of just to be able to go on and maybe maybe you know some of this uh, some of these features can um, <clears throat> can help tell the story of the general kind of area I've got some other bits and bobs hidden away in here that I'm gonna have to remember that I've put on here and I've got some ideas still to go. I grabbed some, obviously, seaweed from, from before that I can mask up and try and do something with. I've got some other bits of material that basically, once this has been painted, I can just put straight on that don't need painting. Um, you know, before any potential resin pour. I don't know how a resin pour is going to go, considering all the stages that have taken us to here. But, um, yeah, that's, that's where we are now.